Hi, uh, we're three of the four members of Team Macho. I'm Lockie Reed. I'm Nicholas Aoki. And Stephen Appleby Bar. I'm missing is Chris Buckin, but uh, this, is, this is us in front of our installation at the Community Gallery at the AGO. It's called Access Monday. When we were asked to do something here in the Community Gallery, it, it felt natural for us to sort of talk about the, the common element to everything that we do, which is the studio we operate out of. For us as artists, space is a major issue. So the issue of space is incredibly sort of um, close to the idea of the art practice, or art as practice. And it's just kind of formed the core of what we do and really informed our ability to practice and, and sort of support each other's practice and, and our, our group practice as well. In this installation, we've kind of taken uh, four aspects of our, our own um, community um, studio and we've kind of exploded them into these idealized beautiful <laughs> versions of, um, of different sort of points throughout a studio or points of working in a studio or in a space. Um, you have the cave, um, which is kind of an introspective crawl into it, disappear from your work so that you can contemplate it from a distance sort of place. We have the mountain where you kind of climb up this thing, get a new view of the landscape and come back down with a new sort of refreshed perspective. Uh, of, this, of space, uh, you descend the mountain and you go into the furnace. The furnace is the place you go and refine that process and uh, basically just, just work. And then the, the garden is this, your reward, essentially. It's the place you go where you can sort of, you can turn that focus inward or outward on the world and kind of have the, uh, the capacity to use all of that practice to create. I think if, if somebody comes in here and sort of visits the thing and, and participates in it, draws on the mountain or goes into the furnace to, to work and get sweaty or goes into the garden to kind of look at this fake nature scene and, and think about the garden or whatever or even crawl into the cave and sort of use that, I, I don't think I want them to really have anything immediately that they take away but I would hope that sort of down the line when they are in a garden state or a mountain state or a furnace state of production, of transformation, that, that they kind of go, oh, I get it, oh. The thing that I would be looking for to have people take away from the, from the installation is the idea, because it is not a singular sort of journey that you go on when you, when you do these sort of things, there's always room for other people, there's always the necessity that other people can be using the space with you. Um, especially as it pertains to something like, you know, studio space, uh, and just the working in a city, it's like a sardine can, but you know, if you can get that idea that you can still produce stuff and you can still produce and be productive. I'd hope that people who come to see it and, and hopefully use it and experience it um, are just given just one little iota of, of the sort of the fear and the joy of the creative process and the sort of capacity for um, that kind of tra transcendent amazingness that comes with, with being fully sort of aware of, of incredible stuff that surrounds you constantly and sort of just hopefully would awaken people to the, to the notion and uh, there's every capacity to, to sort of experience and enjoy those, those big moments in life kind of anywhere. So.